benches like dolphins in swim. So nothing, nothing will keep us together. We can be them forever and ever. Oh, we can be heroes just for one day. Happy Tuesday, April 14th to all Huskies out there. I am Dr. Sawyer and I am joined by Ms. Shear and Ms. Victor. And we want to say happy Tuesday morning to all of you out there and welcome to our morning meeting. Husky. Today's quote from Maya Angelou, I think a hero is any person really intent on making this a better place for all people. What a great quote to start our Tuesday morning, Husky. So this morning, I want to start with some great news for all Huskies and really showcase and highlight your incredible work with remote learning. I want to show you this information in a graph that we got as we are looking at our attendance and your participation in remote learning. So check this out with me, Husky. So here's what you have, Huskies. You have on the right, you can see a graph of your daily usage. And you can notice that in the graph, there is a steady increase in the number of students who are accessing and logging into Schoology. So on the y-axis, you have the number of students logging into Schoology. And on the x-axis, you have the dates of uh, each date and time. And what you notice is, so if you follow along on the X axis, as, the, as our first week uh, in remote learning happened last week, <coughs> excuse me, that would be last week, you can notice that we had a very high number of Huskies logging in to Schoology every single day. And then you see a steady decline there at the end of the X axis. Can anyone guess what that is? Yes, that's correct. That was the weekend. And so that is why we have that steady decline in the slope. Now check out this more exciting data. 720 of our Huskies accessed Schoology last week. That's almost all of our Huskies. We're definitely studying to figure out which of our Huskies have not logged in and what kind of supports can we provide to our students. Students contributed to discussion boards 4,725 times. They submitted 1,716 assignments and completed 1,103 quizzes and checks for understanding. Absolutely outstanding work in our first week in remote learning by all you Huskies out there and our teachers and everybody who has made our conversion to remote learning a success. I really like the graph that I'm seeing there um, reflecting that hard work. Husky. So today we're going to talk more also about netiquette and our expectations for everybody showing respect and a lot of uh, good community in remote learning. So we need to make sure, all of us need to make sure we're doing our part when we're in discussion boards, when we're in hangouts, that we are taking the steps to respect the, um, everybody's turn to speak, that we are uh, making sure our contributions are appropriate for school, um, that we are muting our microphone. And we're going to talk more about that this morning. Um, and I'm seeing so many of you do such a great job, but we're going to also review expectations so that we can continue to um, stay strong. Also, clubs and activities, we know that's important to all of us. Those are going to start this week again even stronger. I know some actually started last week, but your teachers are going to be uh, really launching even virtual field trips for you on Husky Day on this Friday. And we'll have a list of those put up for you later this week. And make sure you send us your ideas. How can we make morning meetings better? We would love your creativity. So send us an email. Let us know your thoughts or a Schoology message. And don't forget, this is Superhero Week, and we're going to share each day some of our superheroes. Husky. 
So expectations for today, you've already done it. Great job for those of you that every day are listening to the morning meeting. Uh, sometimes it might feel like we're sharing some similar things, but remember every day we wanna get you started successfully. So we will share new information throughout these morning meetings every day. Uh, check your teacher's Schoology pages. Make sure that you've got your second week's assignments that are due this Friday, that you're checking into your teacher's live office hours. Be sure you are signing in, Huskies. I know it can get a little, you can forget because you get in and you get involved in talking with your teachers, but you wanna sign in for attendance. That's the only way you get credit um, or you get counted for attendance is if you actually fill in the sign in attendance form. Do your Hamily reads as always, set your daily schedule and sign in to Green Day classes to make sure you get officially counted. All right, Huskies, I mean Husky. <laughs> I'm going to pass it over now to Ms. Shear, who's going to talk about today's Kindness Challenge. Hi, Ms. Shear. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Sawyer. Thank you. Huskies, this week's Kindness Challenge is writing letters to superheroes. So remember, we've talked about this before. Not all superheroes wear capes and not all superheroes have super um, magic powers. So some of our superheroes wear dresses and some wear nurses scrubs and some wear doctor scrubs, some wear neon vests and some deliver groceries. Uh, so this week, we're going to write letters to our superheroes. This could be your teacher. This could be your mom. This could be anybody you want it to be who's a superhero to you. We want you to write those letters or those emails and send them off. And I'm going to share now a little bit. We're doing our little show and tells. And I'm gonna share a little bit about one of my heroes. So this is Miss Shear when she was very little. Um, and this is my Aunt Lisa. And she is one of my heroes. She passed away recently, but she has left behind such a legacy of hope. And I think that that's something really important to think about heroes as well is how they inspire us even when they're gone. And so I'm actually planning on, um, I'm actually wearing one of her scarves today. And I have a postcard that she wrote me a long, long time ago. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write a letter to her today. And now I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Victor, who's going to talk about your suggested schedule. Thank you, Ms. Shear. And so every day, scholars, we uh, talk about your suggested schedule. And so hopefully you got up early, that you'll get up early in the morning, have breakfast, set up your learning space. Remember, it's really important to set up your learning space. Then 10 to 11.30, check in with your Green Day teachers. So again, that's Green Day teachers. Take attendance in green classes and complete one to two assignments. 11.30 to 12.30, lunch and wellness activity. And I'm going to talk about the wellness activity in just a minute. 12.30 to 1.30, self-care. Read, meditate, take a nap, watch a show, write in your journal. 1.30 to 2, do your Hamley Reads. Remember, 30 minutes a day. Then 2 to 3, complete another assignment. And then 3 to 4, check your email, check back in with your teachers, and make sure you have turned in at least two assignments. Make sure all your green class assignments are completed and turned in. Husky. So your wellness activity is to create your own superhero. Have you ever wanted to create the next Spider-Man, Superman, or Batman? Creating a superhero can be a fun way to build a story and a character to write about. Even if you only have a few ideas at first, you can take those small ideas and make them into something great. So we will make sure that the steps for creating a superhero are posted on the Schoology page for you. Once you create your superhero, share with Dr. Sawyer, Ms. Shear, or I via email. Just send us an email with your superhero, uh, the, just a description and a nice picture of your superhero. And then we will choose some superheroes that we think are great and we will share those with you next week. Husky. Now we have our remote uh, learning pack. And so remember, we are all learning together. So we need to make sure that we all feel safe, heard, and respected. So P, principal, means you are using your computer for schoolwork only. A, active caring, means that you report any bullying or offensive language that you hear. C, 
Being a good communicator means that you mute your mic when you enter a Google Hangout and don't unmute until given permission. And then K knowledgeable means you only use trusted sites and don't load, don't download anything suspicious. Husky. Thank you, Ms. Victor. And now we're going to talk a little bit more about Google Meet's expectations. This is a lot of how you are interacting with your teachers and classmates. And so we want to make sure that our Google Meet's expectations are very clear. So the first one, just like Ms. Victor said, mute your mic and leave it on mute. Remember that we can always see who's talking because your name and your picture pops up as soon as you make noise into your microphone. And you don't want to say anything embarrassing and you definitely don't want to say anything offensive that might get you in trouble. Use the chat box for helpful questions and suggestions. Remember, it's not fair to students who have really important questions to get overshadowed if we're just writing silliness into the chat box. Um, also, make sure to use the chat box to ask permission to speak and one of the adults uh, will tell you to unmute and you can ask your question. And three, make sure that your icon is school appropriate and that your name is your real name. So this is a safety issue. We need to know who our scholars are and who we're talking to and who we're seeing online. And so if you're not using your school name and your real name, then we might have to remove that account, which might lose you access to your schoolwork. We just want to make sure that everyone has an equal um, opportunity to interact with one another in a safe place. Uh, once again, ELAPAC meeting this Wednesday, three to four, it will be on Google Meet. So again, all of those expectations are in place. Uh, we expect that you will be a Google Meet guru and you'll be able to help your parents sign in. Ask your ELD teacher for more information, those resources, um, and we'll have lots of resources and information for you at that meeting. All right, Huskies, thank you, Ms. Shear. Thank you, Ms. Victor. Again, it's good to see both of you this Tuesday morning. Um, please, all Huskies, don't forget to join us today if you would like to be a part of our question and answer live stream. That is from 10 o'clock until 11 o'clock, and that is for all Huskies. Um, and check your Schoology page, uh, check the Hamilton Schoology page for information on how to join and ask questions and get answers. Uh, last week, we had a lot of incredible questions from all of you, and we were able to start thinking about important things that you pointed out, thanks to your feedback and your questions. So come join us 10 to 11 if you'd like to chat with um, Ms. Shear, Ms. Victor, and uh, with me. So as we finish up every morning meeting, we like to say, let's remember who we are. We are the community of Hamilton Middle School. Let's make it a great day. Go Huskies. Go Huskies. Keep up the great work. Bye-bye.